Good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Jen Dalton. And I'm Bob Herzog. Thanks for hanging out here on Arc Cincinnati and a tradition now more than 150 years in the making returns later this month. That's right. It is time for the May Festival. It is one of the world's top choir celebrations and here to talk about the historic shows happening this year is Matthew Swanson. He's the associate director of the May Festival Chorus. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming by to visit again. I, I was joking with you during the commercial break. You know, last year you got to celebrate 150. We did. And now no pressure, but you just have to set the entire tone <laughs> for the next 150. No pressure at all. We're excited about that, actually. Yeah, I look forward really cool. to it. And this festival has a lot of new and exciting things to offer. I was going to say, I was reading over the press release and it looks like you're up to the challenge of taking, you know, taking the next hundred years and running with it, you have some changes this year, uh, some things that are going to be, what's different, what's new this year? Perhaps the biggest change is we've slightly adjusted our leadership model. For years we had principal conductors or music directors, conductors who were in charge of programming the festival, and we decided to engage a rotating group of festival directors, and our very first one, fantastic prize-winning composer Julia Wolf has curated this amazing series of concerts along with our staff. She's bringing a whole bunch of our collaborators from across the country and around the world to Cincinnati. When you give an opportunity or have the opportunity to bring in a variety of, of different directors in that sense, what's the reaction you get from them in working with you? I think they're interested in the uh, history of Cincinnati and yeah. the history of the May Festival, they're always stunned by the cultural offerings that the city has yeah. to bear. Not just the May Festival Chorus and the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, but the other organizations that we engage to work on the festival and provide compelling experiences to our audience. Well, can you talk about some of those? Because there are some uh, really cool groups that are, there's always uh, the children's choir, right? That's, that's part of it. But there are so many other things to see as yes. part of the festival. The May Festival Youth Chorus, which has been around since 1987, will be making an appearance. But we have some thrilling guest ensembles, namely the Bang on a Can All-Stars, yes. which is that a new music. So cool. It is cool. A new music collective from New York City. Also the Lorelei Ensemble, a professional women's chamber choir and the Steiger Butte Drum and Singers, hmm. which is a group of indigenous musicians from Oregon who oh, will wow. be coming to make a special appearance in a work called Natural History on May 23rd. Wow. Really plugging into some different things that I, I don't know, think necessarily people um, think of immediately right. when they think of some big choral festival. What, how important was it for you to, to give those different kinds of opportunities for people to come see something like that? You know, singing, the art of singing is a hugely broad thing. And yeah. many people have some personal connection to singing in their life, whether it's something they do uh, on their own as a form of stress relief in a karaoke bar, in a church <laughs> choir, a community chorus. Shower. Yeah. In the shower. <laughs> uh, or they just like it. So we're trying to represent a really broad range of singing in the vocal art. And I've been telling everyone that each one of these concerts is a once in a lifetime experience That's because neat. they're unique, special, specific works that uh, you're not going to hear in Cincinnati again in most cases. Well, that and hearing them in music hall, what's it like for these performers to come to music hall and perform there? It's so neat. It's such a beautiful place. It is. We're so fortunate to have that building which of course was built for the May Festival in 1878 and I think people are stunned by its architecture, its acoustic splendor, but also the closeness with the audience even though the room is so grand. Yeah. It's funny to hear you speak about people coming in and sort of being being awed by the cultural opportunities of the city. I think is how you put it earlier. And and there are so many. As someone who is who is from Iowa, did did you have any idea yourself when you came here? Cuz Cincinnati, you know, a lot of people when they when they first hear Cincinnati, they're not from here. Uh, maybe Reds, maybe Bengals, uh, maybe uh, WKRP in Cincinnati, the old sitcom. <laughs> but they don't necessarily think of the 100 now 51 year old May Festival Chorus. They, they don't think of Music Hall. Were you surprised by all that? I was, to be honest. Yeah. I moved here for graduate school at the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, and I felt that I was really fortunate because it was such a complete artistic community, not yeah. only in the musical arts, but in drama, in dance, in the visual arts, and so many other areas of artistic interest. Cincinnati really has so much to offer. Yeah. Why do you think people are so drawn to the, you know, a festival like this with the choral arts. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I sang at my university in the course there. I would back, you know, show choir in high school. Like, I love to sing. I love that. So you don't have to sell me on it. But, but so many, it's such a huge festival. And why do you think people keep coming back and love that type of music? I think one really compelling reason they keep coming back is the May Festival Chorus itself, which is a chorus of 135 volunteer adult singers from all across the region in the tri-state area. 
some work in music, but most do not. They do this for the love of singing. They're uh, volunteers. And that means they're shopping at your Kroger. Like you see them. They're in your community <laughs> groups. They go to your kid's school. So the chance to come to Music Hall and see a concert is fantastic. The chance to come to Music Hall and see your friend or your neighbor up there on stage singing and performing at such a high level is an additional thrill. That's great. Okay, before we let you go, uh, times, tickets, all of the things. The festival opens May 17th. It runs until the 25th. There are four different programs, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Saturday. You can find all the information online at mayfestival.com, and we would love to see you there. Yes. Awesome. Matt, thanks for coming to visit again. Thank we you appreciate so much. you. Have a, great, have a great festival. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.